Donald Trump flamboyantly visited the Mexican border a couple of weeks ago. Today, Dolly Day Short, or the other way around, Jeb Bush made the trip to the border also. Trump offered this backhanded compliment to his competitor on Fox and Friends this morning. I think it's great that he's going to the border because I think he'll now find out that it is not an act of love. When the people, you know, he said that people crossing are crossing as an act of love, which came back to haunt him. Uh, he will find out it's not an act of love. I was down on the border. It's rough, tough stuff. Jeb responded after meeting with local leaders in Texas. He is the former Florida governor. Mr. Trump's plans are not, not grounded in conservative principles. It would cost hundreds of billions of dollars. It's not realistic. It won't be implemented. I welcome Mr. Trump into the debate. I think that's great. He's, serious, you know, he's a serious candidate, and he ought to be held to uh, what serious candidates need to be held to. He needs to be held to account for his views. Kimberly, aside from the fact that uh, it, it was uh, too bad for Jeb Bush that he went to the border on a day the market was crashing, all attention <laughs> was focused on Wall Street, it would have been a lot better during the furor of the immigration debate stirred up by Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. But uh, I still thought that Governor Bush was pretty elegant on the border. He spoke Spanish very fluently. I loved yeah, it. He, yeah. he was the kind of moderate Republican reaching out to the Latino vote and constituency, I thought, the, would in the long run help the Republicans. I think that um, it was a strong moment for him. I think it showed uh, leadership and someone that was thinking, you know, intelligently and specifically about what, what we can do here with immigration and with the border crisis. And also, I think people really see that he is authentic in terms of his connection and ability to also represent all Americans and the Latino American community. And I really like that because I think that's one of his strong suits, and he really showed it well. And uh, what kind of hammer are you going to hit Jeb with? Well, I agree. I think <laughs> Jeb is elegant. I just don't think Republican primary voters want elegant right now. They want tough and energized, and I think... Trump's attacks against the former governor have been sticking. He's saying he's boring and he's tired. And I think the country wants something that's a little more passionate right now. I don't know if I, if I was Jeb, I'd do the Trump contrast tour. Uh, I, I think going down to the border, was he going to say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tear the border wall down? I mean, I just don't no, think that's but, good. But I think I would stick interesting with... Interesting you he's mentioned not, He's not a conservative. It's an expensive proposition. I would stay expensive, there. But, but expensive. Uh, what do they say it's going to be? The wall, according to one CNBC estimate, will cost the American taxpayer between $735 and $935 billion. That's a legitimate billion? line of attack. And that's I think almost he a needs trillion to stick with that. But I mean, like you said, How bad you want the wall? He got, no, Mexico's he got washed gonna pay up for it. by oh, yeah, Nadal Mexicans today. Pay for that's right. It. Mexicans, Mexicans Maybe, listen, it. if the market goes the way it's going, you might have to go down there and build it too. Right? <laughs> I, I thought that the Spanish, and again, to use the word elegant, I thought that, it, and the, the bring up the fact that his children, Dana, are Hispanic, I thought that that was the kind of outreach that Ronald Reagan would be proud of. Well, I don't know. I think the word elegant fits, but I think eloquent um, might also fit, right? So but here's something interesting. In the state of Nevada, there's a huge Senate race this year. Um, whoever wins the presidency is probably going to have the Senate. So if it goes Democrat uh, for the president, you'll probably have a Democratic Senate. Same on if it's a Republican. Nevada has, I think, three electoral votes. Republicans need to win 45% of the Latino vote in Nevada in order to win in Nevada this year. The, the Electoral College vote is going to be so close on election night that it could come down to as many as three electoral votes. So, yes, I think it's smart in the long run. The other thing I would say is I kind of would like... But do you like agree with Jesse? I don't mean to interrupt you that... Yes, that's the long run, but what about the primary season? I don't know. I have to, actually, I, was, I, I, I think Of course she agrees with Jesse. <laughs> it's obvious, isn't Obviously, it? Obviously, we are get, we, Jesse and I are one, people, believe me. <laughs> but what I've liked is one that it's almost couple. like um, <laughs> because Jeb was having a hard time making breaking through the news while Trump was dominating, one of the things that they've been able to do, both of them, is they're actually the backhanded compliment or the gentle jabs back and forth it's actually pretty entertaining. It's kind of good politics on both sides, and it's better. I, I think they've both been better in the last couple of weeks than they were the past couple months. But so these are the only two people we're talking about, really, well, you know, course, um, to be it. honest, well, you're, right? You're talking about Scott Walker changing his mind about there, what time You know, it is. for two seconds. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> that was it. Tom, do you, uh, do you think that Trump is maybe not so invincible? Well, I, I think that he's, he's going to be able to pick on Bush with this act of love thing, but Senator Rick Santorum said, I feel bad for someone who robs to feed their family. He compared, you know, illegal immigrants to that. So he said, of course, I can have compassion for illegal immigrants, but 
it's still against the law. So he said, uh, you know, robbing a bank is against the law. It doesn't mean I don't have compassion for someone who I don't robs want to, to feed their family. I immigration. I want to talk about Jeb Bush and Donald Trump. Well, I know what but I'm saying. I think saying that's is the that, point. That, that uh, Jeb Bush is going to be able to keep the compassionate angle, and he's going to be for enforcing the law as well. He just needs to, you know, he needs to be able to sell that. Because right now, as Trump opposed is, to the wall and kick them all out. Yeah, and Trump is hammering him as a softy, but he's he's not really. When you look at his immigration plan, he's not for amnesty. He has a very nuanced he's for plan, earned but, citizenship. Yes, but it's I a huge think, difference. Yes, and, but, but what I, are you, you know, for deportation? I told you I'd send him down. Rip and him build right them out of there, mama's arms. I mean, just I'm just get him out of here. I th I'm just glad that Bush says he's not for amnesty. He's he's not for a path to citizenship. He's a path to uh, legality. Ahead. For all those singles out there looking to make a love connection, of course, Tom would be the one. <laughs> Got a list of first date tips you'll want to stay tuned for next.